Okay, good day everyone. We're going to discuss about operations on rational algebraic expression and problems involving rational algebraic expression. So what are the competencies here? The learners performs operations on rational algebraic expressions to be able to solve, I mean, adds or subtracts similar rational algebraic expression, adds or subtracts dissimilar rational algebraic expression. Learners can multiply and divide rational algebraic expressions, and the learners solves problems involving rational algebraic expression. So these are, those are the learning competencies. Next, what do you need to understand? Okay, so the students need to understand how to add and subtract similar rational algebraic expression. So we have here Similar rational algebraic expression, okay, similar rational algebraic expression, okay, these are expressions that have same, that have, that have the same denominators, okay, so as with, with fractions, we add or subtract rational expression with the same denominator by combining the like or similar terms in the numerator, and then writing the result over the common denominator. Then we simplify the expression to the lowest term if possible. Okay, so we have here addition and subtraction of rational, I mean similar rational number, rational expression rather. So in adding or subtracting similar rational expression, add or subtract the numerators and then write it in the numerator of the result over the common denominator. So in symbol we have here for any A, B and C represents real numbers and B is not equal to zero, then we have a divided by b or over b plus c over b is just equal to the sum of the numerators sum of numerators over the common denominator so since the denominators are equal you just copy the denominator then do or perform the operation on the numerators. So the same process here. We have A over B minus C over B. So just copy the denominator and then subtract the numerators. That is A minus C. Okay. So here are some illustrative examples. We have here perform the indicated operation, express your answer in simplest form. So we have here, number one, we have 3x over 7x plus 4x over 7x. So since the denominators are equal, you can just copy or write the common denominator. So you have 7x. What you're going to do to the numerator is just add or combine the numerator. So you add the numerator that is 3x plus 4x. Since they are similar terms, then we, we can combine. We can combine them. We can add them. And that is 3 plus 4 is 7x over 7x. So since they are the same, the terms are the same, so 7x divided by 7x is just equal to 1. Okay, number 2. For number 2, we have 7 over 4n minus 1. Okay, minus 
over 4n minus 1. So again, since the denominators are equal, then you can just copy the denominator and then the operation is subtraction. So just subtract the numerator. And that's it. that is 7 minus 5 over 4n minus 1. 7 minus 5 is 2 over 4n minus 1. So you can only cancel 2 if they have if they have factor here 2. But 4n minus 1 do not have any other factor except itself and 1. So that's why you cannot cancel anymore. You cannot reduce anymore to lowest term. So that's the answer. Number 3, we have 4 over b plus 2 minus 2 over b plus 2. So again, since the denominators are equal, you can just copy the denominator and then the operation is minus, then you just subtract the numerator, and that is 4 minus 2 over b plus 2. 4 minus 2 is 2 over b plus 2. By the way, you can only divide binomial to binomial. You cannot divide binomial by monomial or monomial by binomial. So the answer is 2 over b minus plus 2. Okay, next. Number 3. And number 4, rather. Number 4 example is, we have x squared minus 2x minus 7 over x squared minus 9 plus 3x plus 1 over x squared minus 9. So again, since the denominators are equal, you can just copy the denominators. Then we will add the numerator. So we have here x squared minus 2x minus 7 plus, since the operation is plus, plus 3x plus 1. Okay, combining similar terms, so we have x squared, 2x, negative 2x is similar with positive 3x. That's why we have here this one. And then minus 7 or negative 7 plus 1, so plus 1. So combining similar terms, we just rewrite x squared, combining similar terms, that is positive x, then this is negative 6. Negative 7 plus 1 is negative 6 over x squared minus 9. So again, since the numerator can still be factor, okay, so we will factor negative 6 in which when you add the factors will give you positive 1. So we have here, the factors of negative 6 are positive 3 and negative 2. If you add the 2, we have 3 plus the negative 2, the answer is positive 1, which is the middle term. So that's the factor of x squared plus x minus 6. While the factors of the denominator, this is the difference of two squares. So therefore, we have x plus 3 and x minus 3. Cancelled out x plus 3, cancelled out x plus 3, and what is left is x minus 2 over x minus 3. Okay, number 5, we have another example, w squared plus 3w plus 2 over w squared minus 2w plus 1 minus 3w plus 3 divided by w squared minus 2w plus 1. From here, okay, and by the way, the denominators again are equal. So, you can rewrite it or copy. And then we will combine the numerator. So, we have here w squared plus 3w plus 2 minus. It should be with parenthesis. It should enclose with parenthesis because it preceded by negative sign. Pag positive, okay lang walang parenthesis. Pag negative, it should have a parenthesis before another term. Okay, next. Combine similar terms. By the way, we will simplify first this one. So this will become negative 3w and negative 3. 
So combining similar terms, so we have here 3w and minus 3w. So ito, ito yun. Then we have positive 2 minus negative 3. So this one is already 0. This is 0 already. So what is left is w squared minus this is 2 minus 3, that is negative 1. So that's why we have w squared minus 1 over w squared minus 2w plus 1. The numerator can still be factor, and that is difference of two squares. That is factor of 1 is positive 1 and negative 1. So that is w plus 1 and w minus 1. While the denominator can still be factor because that is a perfect square trinomial, and that is difference or i mean that is square or binomial that is w minus one and w minus one cancel out w minus one therefore what is left is w plus one over w minus one that is for similar fractions so we will discuss later on on the dissimilar rational algebraic expression. Have a good day ahead. Thank you.